hi guys welcome to code bashers so guys in this particular video i will be discussing the communication assessment of accenture so guys as you all know that the on campus hiring for 2025 batch students are going on and in many colleges round one that is the coding assessment have been taken place so this communication ha assessment happens after the coding round and after this communication assessment there are interviews that will be scheduled okay so in many campuses as i have told you coding assessment has been done and now communication assessment mails have started to come so in this particular video what i will be doing i will be discussing all these sections that that are there in the communication assessment and how many questions are there and with the help with sample answers sample questions i will be telling you that what happens inside this entire communication assessment so all details regarding the communication assessment of accenture you will find in this particular video and guys i am planning to make a similar video for the interview preparation also that how you have to prepare for the interviews so if you want those videos as well do write in the comment section that yes sir how to prepare for interview make this video also okay so i hope it is clear to you in this particular video i am focusing on focusing on communication assessment and all sections i have discussed in detail so make sure that you are watching this video till the end and guys and guys from past few weeks i am continuously making videos regarding the accenture hiring so from 12th of august accenture on campus hiring began in colleges so i have discussed the co actual coding questions which were asked in on campus hiring on 12th august 13th august and 14th august so do check out these videos as well because if you have not given the assessment till now then these questions are very very much beneficial for you you will find these questions in this playlist i will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box do check them out and guys do join this telegram group also because lot of discussions regarding accenture are happening in this group so this group is a dedicated for 2025 batch students many more companies are starting to hire that is tcs also cognizant has also announced its hiring for 2025 batch so all the discussions regarding these companies will be happening in this group only so do join this group the link of this group you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so guys now let's start this video okay so as first of all there will be total six sections which will be there in the communication assessment of accenture now i will describe each and every section in detail how many questions will be there and what will be the type of questions which will be asked in each section so guys, make sure that you do not miss any part of this video and watch this video till the end okay so the first section will be the reading section in this section sentence will be written on screen and you will have to repeat it so one sentence is there on the screen like ram is a boy so it will be appeared on the screen and then you will have to read it that is ram is a boy now the key for this section is to read slowly and clearly so take your time little bit just not too much but little bit take your time read the sentence first in mind and then pronounce it pronunciate it so read slowly and clearly so that the ai algorithm that is written behind it can understand what you are saying so the uh, the uh, sentence will appear on the screen and you will just have to read it read it same so total eight these type of questions total eight questions will be there in this particular section so eight sentences will come and you will have to read the sentence one by one and guys uh, before every section there are a lot of note points or you can say queries about that section is written so read the instructions very carefully before attempting any of the section because it can be make or break situation for you so i hope now the reading section is clear to you next section is repeating section now in this section listen to the sentence spoken and then repeat the sentence in the first section this uh, sentence was occurring on the screen and then you will have to read it but in the repeating section you will have to listen to the sentence that they are speak that they are saying and then you have to repeat it after them so i hope this thing is clear to you that uh, first you have to listen the sentence and then you will have to repeat it now key in this section is to listen carefully and speak slowly and clearly so first of all you will have to listen the sentence so kindly listen it very carefully that what are the words and what are the uh, uh, everything they are using and then once you have understood once you have completely heard the sentence then only speak the entire sentence as it is slowly and clearly now total 16 questions will be asked from you in this particular section so 16 these type of questions will come that 16 sentence will be uh, you will listen 16 sentence one sentence at a time and after every sentence you will have to repeat it so again be careful and please pronounce every word very carefully because again it's a very important section for you for example again ram is a boy so you will first listen ram is a boy and then after that you will have to repeat the same that ram is a boy so i hope this particular section is clear to you in the first section 
uh, the sentence was appearing on the screen but in the second section the sentence you will have to first listen and then you will have to repeat it so i hope this section is clear to you next is questions and answer section so third section is questions and answer section in this section you will hear questions you will have to answer them in one or two words so again everything now that coming that is coming in your way now you will have to listen so one sentence will be uh, will be told to you while uh, you will have to listen a sentence at a time and then you will have to answer for that sentence in a one or two words so nothing will appear on the screen you will have to listen in this section the question that they are asking so total 24 questions will be asked from you in this section and for each particular question you will have to answer it in one or two words so for example the question would be like this so would you get water from bottle or newspaper so the answer you have to give is a bottle so again as you can see that this is a very general question that would you get water from bottle or newspaper so it is obvious that we will get the water from the bottle only so listen to the uh, question very carefully and then give the answer in just one or two words and before this particular section read the instructions for this section very carefully so guys i hope this section is also clear to you a sentence will be told or you can say a question will be asked from you and you will have to give the answer in one or two words only so total 24 questions from this section will be asked okay so now moving to the next section next uh, section is sentence building section so guys in this particular section jumbled sentences will be given to you you will have to make meaningful sentence out of them so in childhood we all have given english exam so in the english exam there were jumbled sentences and you will have to join each and every word to form a meaningful sentence now again total 10 questions will be asked from you in this section and guys one thing that is very important in this section is that uh, the jumbled uh, the jumbled words won't be written on the screen they will be uh, you will have to listen them so there will be nothing on the screen for example let's just see was reading my mother her favorite book so these this line will not be written on the screen this line will you will have to hear they will say it not uh, it will not be displayed on the screen the same the line will be told to you you will have to listen the line and it will be in this order that is was reading then little pause then my mother then again little pause her favorite book so was reading my mother her favorite book so this will be the line that you will hear now then you will this is this is in the jumbled order now you will then you will have to for, form the meaningful sentence and then you will again have to speak in the mic that is my mother was reading her favorite book so i hope <coughs> this particular section is also clear to you the jumbled words will not be on displayed on the screen they will be told to you so you will have to listen the jumbled words you will have to make the meaning, meaningful sentence and then you will have to speak the meaningful sentence in a very slowly and clear way in the mic so i hope this particular question is also this particular section is also clear to you okay now moving towards the fifth section that is story retelling section so in this section you will hear a story short story you will have to repeat the story after listening so let's just suppose you are in the story retelling section so first of all they will just speak for 10 to 20 seconds they will uh, uh, they will uh, tell you a small scenario and once they have done telling you you will have to retell the story in the same order in the same instance to them again the key point in this particular section will be to listen the story very carefully imagining the story line by line that they are saying and guys the more you can grasp the more you can retain the knowledge the more you will be able to pass this section very uh, good so i hope this particular section is clear to you that is story will be told to you first then you will have to repeat the same story to them so total three such questions will be there in this particular section so i hope this section is also clear to you next is open question section so again it is a section similar to the first section that we have seen that is question and answer section but in question and answer section what was happening you will have to listen the question and answer in one to two words only but in the last uh, last section that is open question in this section some questions will be asked from you you have to give answer with justification so in the uh, before section we were only giving the answer in the one word but now in this particular uh, section once the question is asked from us uh, we will have to justify we will have to give the answer and justify the answer so total two such questions will be asked from you in this particular section so for example <clears throat> when you study you like quiet environment or little noisy environment uh, next uh, justify it so like this questions will be asked from you so if you are uh, if you like quiet environment then you will have to justify that why you like the quiet environment and if you like the noisy environment 
then you will have to justify then that why you have to why you like noisy environment so all these justification you will have to give within 30 seconds window only that is you will have to answer the question and then why you uh, why you went with that answer you will have to justify it and all these things will happen just in 30 seconds so these are the six sections that have been uh, that you will be asked in this particular communication round so guys if you have any questions or any doubts regarding this particular section you can always comment down and guys please join my terror groups also i am posting regular updates on what are the questions or what are the hiring that has been going on in the industry so guys please share if you found this video informative please share this video among your friends and thank you for watching this video and kindly hit the subscribe button if you have not just now so thank you for watching this video